Picture a world where connection has no boundaries. A world where even the most isolated, untouched corners of the earth are as connected as the busiest city streets. High-speed internet, available everywhere, is no longer a far-off idea. It's becoming real, and Huawei is leading the charge. Huawei's bold plan to launch 10,000 satellites and build a next-gen 6G network from space could completely transform the way we connect. But this isn't just about pushing technology forward. It's a direct challenge to industry giants like Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite service. With this ambitious move, Huawei is not just aiming to advance the future of communication. It's setting the stage for a monumental shift in the entire industry. Huawei's plan breaks all the rules. Traditional networks rely on towers and cables scattered across the globe. But Huawei, they're taking communication to the skies, creating a space-based network that will connect even the most remote areas. With 10,000 satellites in orbit, they will blanket the planet in fast, reliable internet. It's a network built for the future, designed to support groundbreaking technologies like self-driving cars, real-time holograms, and complex IoT systems that need constant, ultra-fast connectivity. This shift could change everything. As Huawei's network comes to life, it may threaten the dominance of companies like Starlink, which currently has around 4,000 satellites. Starlink has been instrumental in expanding internet access to underserved regions. But Huawei's system is larger, faster, and more adaptable, making Starlink's technology seem outdated in comparison. But the impact of Huawei's satellites goes far beyond just technology. In a world where digital infrastructure is tied to national security and global power, Huawei's massive network could give China a dominant position in the digital world. As countries rethink their digital alliances, Huawei's network could reshape geopolitics, trade, and global influence. At the core of Huawei's vision is a satellite network that is unlike anything we've seen before. The 10,000 satellites will be divided into two groups, 8,000 in low Earth orbit and 2,000 in geostationary orbit. This dual approach gives Huawei the ability to provide high-speed service and broad coverage that can adapt to the needs of every corner of the world. Each satellite is built to last. They're equipped with advanced propulsion systems that use less fuel, which means they'll stay operational longer. The new solar panels and energy storage systems will keep them running even in the darkness of space, a challenge for all satellite networks. The communication technology on board will also be state-of-the-art, supporting speeds that are far beyond what 5G can offer. Huawei's satellites will also have the ability to manage traffic in real time. AI systems will help allocate resources dynamically, ensuring that millions of devices can stay connected and keep running smoothly. And when it comes to security, Huawei is taking no chances. Their satellites will use top-of-the-line encryption and quantum-resistant technology to protect sensitive data from cyber attacks. This isn't just about faster internet. It's about changing the very foundation of how the world connects. Huawei's satellites are not just building a network. They're creating a new era of communication that could change how industries function, how people live, and how nations communicate. The future of global connectivity is arriving, and it's coming from space. Huawei isn't just stepping into the satellite internet market. It's aiming to completely overhaul it. Starlink may have made a big impact, especially in rural areas. But Huawei's network is designed to be bigger, faster, and more efficient. While Starlink has 4,000 satellites in orbit, Huawei's 10,000 will take things to a whole new level. As the battle for satellite internet dominance intensifies, it's no longer just about offering better service, it's about shaping the future of global communication. In a world on the brink of a new digital revolution, Huawei's satellite network isn't just an upgrade, it's a game changer. With the potential to propel data transmission rates into the realm of multiple terabits per second, this isn't merely an improvement, it's a complete reimagining of satellite internet. At the heart of this seismic shift is Huawei's AI-driven network management a force capable of transforming connectivity on a global scale. Unlike traditional systems, which operate within rigid preset parameters, Huawei's dynamic system adjusts in real time, responding to shifting traffic patterns, user demand and environmental changes. Imagine a network that can think on its feet, balancing load with precision, maintaining stability, and constantly optimizing performance. In an era where data consumption is growing at an unprecedented rate, from streaming services to industrial applications, the stakes have never been higher. Meanwhile, while Starlink continues its evolution, its efforts may struggle to keep up with the relentless pace of innovation Huawei is unleashing. Huawei's vast investments in research and development, combined with strategic global telecom partnerships, put it in a prime position to leapfrog conventional limitations. The tech giant's ability to push the boundaries of satellite internet performance may soon outpace anything Starlink can offer. Huawei's 6G satellite network could even serve as the backbone for smart cities. 
intelligent traffic systems, energy grids, and public safety networks that adapt in real time to the needs of the city. But with these boundless opportunities come critical challenges. The scale of connectivity opens up new frontiers for cyber threats, and with a network stretching across the globe, resilience against hacking, surveillance, and data breaches becomes paramount. The security of users and the integrity of communications will demand unprecedented cooperation between governments, corporations, and regulatory bodies. But the battle isn't only about technology. Cost is another battlefield, and here, Huawei has a distinct edge. SpaceX has already made impressive strides with its reusable rocket technology, lowering costs and opening satellite internet to a wider audience. Yet Huawei has a different strategy up its sleeve. By using electric propulsion systems that are lighter and more fuel efficient, alongside advanced solar panels to extend satellite life, Huawei could drastically cut operational costs, allowing it to offer competitive pricing, particularly in emerging markets where affordability is critical. And with Huawei's strong global presence, including strategic political alliances, the possibility of government-backed subsidies and public-private partnerships could make its services even more affordable. Starlink, with its association to the high-profile figure of Elon Musk, certainly holds the advantage in branding. Its rockets, its launches, its growing loyal customer base, they all feed into the image of a cutting-edge must-have service. But Huawei, with decades of experience in global telecommunications, is setting its sights on regions where digital infrastructure is still a distant dream. For these areas, Huawei's satellite network isn't just a luxury, it's an essential lifeline. This isn't just a technological rivalry, this is a battle that could reshape the geopolitics of digital infrastructure. As nations strive for digital sovereignty and seek to break free from reliance on Western technologies, Huawei's alternative becomes increasingly attractive. For countries looking to enhance their security, communications, and international leverage, Huawei's 6G satellite network could be a strategic asset with transformative potential. The implications of Huawei's satellite project reach far beyond mere speeds and user numbers. Imagine the possibilities. In education, remote villages could access virtual classrooms and join the global learning network. In healthcare, doctors could perform life-saving surgeries via robotics with real-time precision, regardless of geography. Entire industries could emerge in once digitally isolated regions, driven by cloud computing, digital marketplaces, and mobile banking. In agriculture, IoT sensors connected via satellite could revolutionize crop management, water use, and yield prediction. Logistics networks could be optimized with unprecedented accuracy, and autonomous vehicles could benefit from ultra-low latency, enhancing safety and coordination. And as global connectivity spreads, new ethical and cultural dilemmas arise. The influence of foreign technologies can blur local identities and spark concerns over surveillance. The digital divide, which once separated people by access to the internet, may now separate them by the control of that very access. Just as the internet has sparked debates over privacy, control, and censorship, Huawei's satellite network could reignite those tensions, especially as it becomes entangled in broader geopolitical rivalries. Yet amid these uncertainties, the potential for transformation is enormous. If implemented securely and ethically, Huawei's satellite network could usher in a new era of inclusivity and innovation. It could empower remote communities to leapfrog decades of technological development, leveling the playing field for millions who have long been left behind. This isn't just about faster internet or more reliable connections. It's about a future where the digital economy is accessible to all, regardless of geography. As we stand on the cusp of this monumental shift, one thing is certain. The future of global connectivity will not be decided by one company, one country, or one technology. It will depend on how we navigate the vast opportunities and responsibilities this new frontier presents. Huawei's 6G satellite network represents not just a technological breakthrough, but the dawn of a new era in digital transformation. The question now is, what excites you most about the future of 6G? Is it the vision of seamless global access, the rise of smart cities, or the empowerment of remote communities? Share your thoughts with us, and if you found this deep dive into the satellite internet landscape valuable, like, share, and comment with your ideas for future topics. Should we explore the rise of quantum computing? the geopolitical battle for semiconductor supremacy, or the way artificial intelligence is reshaping labor markets? Subscribe to Revo and join a community of innovators, thinkers, and changemakers as we venture into the future that's being shaped.